common view is that Istanbul is a paradise for cats. But is this true? Here's our experience on the ground and our encounters with the locals who interact with them every day. We're gonna take you on a walk with us in Jihangir, an affluent hipster neighborhood on the European side of Istanbul. And we're just gonna show you what the day-to-day -day cat situation is like here. Jihangir is one of the most cat-obsessed neighborhoods in Istanbul. There are cats absolutely everywhere. And you'll see cat houses built by residents on the street and food and water bowls on every corner. Some people have dedicated their entire lives to caring for the cats here. And every cafe in the neighborhood is a cat cafe. Shortly into our walk, we stumble upon this little boy. He is completely blind and completely endearing. I mean, just look at that face. This little boy is blind, but he's so sweet and he loves the pets. Look at him. Oh. Hey, mister. Hey, mister sweetheart. You like the pets? You like them? He wants my pets again. Okay? Yeah, you pet him. Oh, oh my gosh, what a sweetheart. So fun fact, apparently all the cats with this fur pattern, so white, orange, and gray or black tabby, they're all girls. Just a, a thing, I guess. Right, goodbye, sweet girl. Goodbye. Cats have been a part of Istanbul for a long time. There is evidence that they were treated well by the Byzantines during a period when there was an aggressive attitude in Europe toward felines. And they were a welcome part of the city during the Ottoman Empire, when the majority of houses were made of wood and people used them for pest control. And today, well, they are everywhere, as you can see. Look who came up to us. He's so cute. Istanbul is home to many different breeds of cats a legacy of its centuries-long role as a major transit point for trade. Cats from all over the world disembark from ships here, intermingling and mixing their genes to create a variety of breeds and fur patterns. As we continue on our walk, we pick up a little shadow. Yeah, someone loves the pets, it's following you. Give you one more scratchy, how about that? Yeah. She's famous on the uh, internet. Oh really? Uh, we have a thing called Cat Hunter. Okay. You can check her out. <laughs> oh really? It's clear as we're out filming how much the locals love the cats too. Every time we're filming them, they stop and talk to us and tell us a little bit about the cats. It's really nice. And Schnezinka means snowflake in Russian. All right, on to pet more cats. It's a hard job, but someone's got to do it. Bye, buddy. You're a chubby girl. <laughs> yeah, talk to him So how often do you feed the cats? Uh, the people of Jiangir feed the cats all the time. They have a cup for the cats mm. uh, on the street, like 7 to 4. So uh, 
that's how they feed them. Like they never get hungry, basically. The cats are the owners of this neighborhood yeah. and we are just guests. Yeah, exactly. We're just here to serve them, right? Yeah. <laughs> so why do you think people of Turkey love cats so much? I'm not sure it applies to like uh, all the cats around Turkey, mm -hmm. but I know for Jiangir, uh, everybody loves the cats. We just got used to living with them, mm -hmm. so they're part of our lives. Our new friends take us to meet Ali, a man who has been feeding the cats of Jihangir for the past 30 years. Could you tell me a little bit about the work you do with the cats here? I've been taking care of the street animals for 30 years, over 30 years, because uh, I have love and conscience uh, towards these animals. And uh, by doing that, I'm learning how to become even a better human being. And can you tell us a little bit about the type of work you do with the cats? Like it looks like a lot of food, shelter, veterinary care. Like what does that look like? I see the cats yeah, like my kids. As I said, so. the people of Jangir is helping us out and I'm doing this voluntarily. And uh, I'm an electrician and I devote all my time out of my work mm. to, to these cats. So, and people are putting money into these boxes and that's how we get the money for the food and everything. A person who doesn't love cats will never have love for other living beings. Ali takes multiple walks a day, every single day, to feed the cats in the neighborhood. Stay in Jihangir for any period of time and you're likely to see him out and about. And he is well known by all the cats in the neighborhood, who immediately run up to him anywhere he goes. He's been doing this every day for 30 years and oh my goodness, just look at how many cats there are. I've never seen this many cats before. Ali works really hard and depends on the community to acquire resources for the cats. One night, we even saw him out working at 1 a.m. Now that's dedication. If you visit Istanbul in the future and want to help, you can find him in the stairwell across from 21 Restaurant in Jihangir. We'll drop more information in the description box. Found this sweet girl. I think she's pregnant. Meet Tavuk, the Jihangir pickle shop cat. We gave her a nickname after her favorite snack, chicken. She's dangerously cute and sometimes just plain dangerous. <laughs> this is Budik, our favorite little girl from the pickle shop. But we have a nickname for her. We call her Tavuk after her favorite food, chicken. And you have to kind of proceed with caution with her. She's really sweet and talkative and she'll come up to you and love on you. But every so often she'll just like and attack you. So she's cute but dangerous. In Jihangir, almost every business has a cat. And the owner's stories on how the cat ended up with them all sound really similar. And Budik's owner didn't go to an adoption center to get her. He has his pickle shop. And one day she just started coming in and he started feeding her and she started sleeping at the shop and now she is his cat. And that is the story of many Istanbul cats. Oh, you see? You see, she's so sweet and then she... See, she is cute but dangerous. You know, we both safe, have our battle safe. scars. This From one, Munich. this one, this one. Yeah, this one. Everything, everything. everything. <laughs> but it's love you. <laughs> yeah, but she loves you. Tatlı ve sevimli. Istanbul is known as a paradise for cats. 
and there are many postcard moments, but it's only one part of the story. With so many cats living on the street, many suffer from disease, injury, and neglect. And a lot of the care for these strays falls to individual rescuers like Ali, who we met earlier, and Hilary Sable, the founder of Jihangir Cool for Cats, a Facebook group for the neighborhood to network and communally care for the cats. When I see films like Keddy or people making these happy clappy postcard videos of all the lovely cats, I, I could weep. Hillary is from the UK, but has lived in Istanbul for the past 18 years, over 10 of them in the Jihangir apartment. She shares her space with five rescues. So the perception internationally is that Turkey is a, a cat heaven of sorts, where cats are really happy and well taken care of. I'm just curious about your <laughs> general thoughts about that. It's not true. There are people who leave food out and water, but if they see a cat in distress, they won't necessarily take it to the vet. Most of that falls on people like those in my group. So uh, for the makers of Keddy, you know, a middle finger to you because you have done more harm to the animals uh, who are homeless in Turkey. For Hillary, the solution is a reality check on the true condition the cats are living in and a widespread rollout of spaying and neutering programs. There is no reason why the spaying and neutering program shouldn't roll out and save millions of animals from lives of misery. But it's just not happening. Is there anything that makes you optimistic about the future of cats in this Yeah, the people who do give a damn, the people who are on my group, the people who are on the street. I'm not saying that, that everybody is, is uncaring or cruel, but we certainly have our fair share here. Um, whether it's more than anywhere else, probably not. But because of the volume of animals in this country, it really shows. And what? What do you want to say about it? <laughs> Putting water in the food. It's really good for cats. On top of her five cats at home, Hillary takes care of 50 cats or more living around her apartment. She pays for all the food out of her own pocket. Hey guys. Hey, hey you. Hello boy. Oh, they're not used to seeing strangers. Oh. I feed them, I make sure that they're healthy. If they're not healthy, I take them to the vet. Um, and basically I'm just doing what a lot of other members of my group and others do. Come on, Dave. Dave. So what's our verdict on the cats of Istanbul? There are many beautiful moments of locals caring for and sharing space with cats more than anywhere else we've seen in the world. Yet with the sheer volume of cats trying to survive in a city of 20 million, many cats lead lives of hardship. So with Istanbul cats, as with most other things, multiple truths coexist. <laughs>